Hi everyone, welcome to the first episode in this series of Bicol Churches with George Lee. In this series, we'll be visiting four historic churches in four provinces of the Bicol region. You may remember that almost two months ago, we traveled to Ilocos Norte, which is at the northernmost part of Luzon Island. So this time, we'll be traveling to Sorsogon, which is at the southernmost part of Luzon Island. So let's get to it. For this first leg of the journey, we'll be traveling past Quezon Province into the Bicol region, then through Camarines Norte straight to Naga City in Camarines Sur to visit its famed cathedral. We'll also be passing by the famous twisty road in Atimonan Quezon called Bitukang Manok, which cuts through the Quezon National Forest Park. The entire journey will take around 380 kilometers. Okay, so we stopped for breakfast here in this um, roadside eatery called Kambak. Uh, we're in Kesson province already. I think they have here, what's this? The cooking goto, right? Oh, let's see. Hold on. Bulalo. Um, yeah, Bulalo, huh? Wow. Nice. So are we having that for breakfast? Okay, we can have some soup, right? Yeah. First, uh, first food of the yes. uh, journey. So, what's that? Goto. Goto, okay. Yes, some rice as well. She got the tapa. Yes, just tapa. We've got a long journey ahead of us. Oh, yeah. So we need to eat breakfast of champions. Huh? Yeah. Yes, I have to admit, going up here was a bit jarring. Yeah. Is that is that is that the the steep one that they're talking about, right?
Okay, so we're now here on the border between Quezon and Bicol. It was my first time to visit Bicol and Naga City and the first person to warmly greet me was a really cool guy who recognized me as I entered the cathedral grounds. His name is Dino and he rides the whooping KTM 1290 Super Adventure. He also told me that he is a subscriber to this channel and so I felt really blessed to be greeted on my first day by a fellow rider and a subscriber. Shout out to all MotoFaith viewers and to my family here, the Barandon family in Bicol. So and your name is? Dino. Dino, everybody, this is Dino. Uh, and I just met him here. <laughs> he recognized the bike and uh, I'm glad to be here. Thanks right. a lot, Dino. Okay, ride safe. Yes. Ride safe. After a quick chat with my new friend, it's time to check out Naga Cathedral, which is canonically known as the Metropolitan Cathedral and Parish of St. John the Evangelist. Let's get a closer look of the church. The outside and from the inside. The first church was established after the creation of the Diocese of Caceres in 1595 and the present structure was built in 1808. It was completed and consecrated in 1843 and is now the seat of the Roman Catholic Archdiocese of Caceres. The large stone structure has a cruciform plan and showcases a Spanish Romanesque revival style. Inside the cathedral are arcades to counter the effects of earthquakes that damaged the cathedral in 1820. 
the trompe l'oeil paintings and ceiling were recently done. Okay everyone, so I'm finally in my hotel room. It's towards the end of the day already. Uh, we're really quite tired. Um, but I finally got to wash up, so I'm in my room. Um, it's, it's a small room, but it's enough for the night. And it's quite clean. Uh, the name of the hotel here in Naga is Centro Square Hotel. Uh, yeah, the thing about it is that it's right across the Archbishop's Palace as well as the the Naga Cathedral, so it was just literally like one minute to, to ride from the cathedral here. So you see, right over there is the cathedral. I could view it from my room. And let me zoom in. There you go. And between the cathedral and uh, my hotel is the Archbishop's Palace, right here. And then there's a beautiful sunset. So yeah, that's my room. And um, I'll just fix up my stuff for a while and then I'll go down to meet George and we'll go out for dinner. I can't really wait to, to, to try the food here in Naga. You know, it's my first time here in Naga. And I must say, I really like the dialect here. And the people are really so nice and friendly. I, I, I'm so amazed. And one of my friends told me, Monzit actually, uh, who works in Trine, told me that uh, I should try um, a specialty here called Kinalas. So, or do you call it Kinalas? Uh, I'll find out later. So I'll try it later, tonight. Yeah, so what? So what is this? Uh, this is the shrimp. Nila Singa people. Drunk and shrimp. Drunk and shrimp. Cheers. A good ride. Cheers. My first time in Biko. <laughs> my first time in Naga, my first time in Biko. You're going to be a first for everything on this trip. Right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> first time in this restaurant, my first time in that hotel. Okay. So, what is this now? I well, it's, it. it's basically regular Filipino food, right? Uh, so, this is Sisi. Ginatan Sisi. So, so, so uh, what's Ginatan? Coconut, right? Coconut, Coconut yeah. Base. So it's kind of special, I guess. It's different, right? This is, um, what is this? Mm -hmm. This is the legend. Right, so typical mm -hmm. Filipino. And this is laing. But then they say this laing here is uh, cooked in the people way. So yeah, let's check it out. Right, right. Let's see if this matches up to Manila. See if it's but have you had it with uh, this coconut base? Mm. Again. Sounds very good. Wow. Good. Okay. What's the name of this restaurant? Uh, coconuts. Coconuts. Coco coconuts. So, if you're here in Naga, you might want to try it. Let me show it to you.
There you go. Coconuts. Right. Bicolano. Bicola, a Bicolano restaurant. 